Hi friends! Um, we talked this morning uh, about subtraction, taking away, and we read Pete the Cat to help us know all about his groovy buttons and when one pops off, how many are left. And so subtraction is that math idea that helps us know when we start to take things away, how many are left. And today I thought it would be fun to show you a game that you can play called Subtraction Bowling. Now you may know what bowling is. Um, thumbs up if you have ever been bowling before. I know I have too. So bowling is super fun. You get to roll a ball down that narrow little alley. They call it an alley and the ball is trying to knock down all of the pins. So we're going to pretend that these are pins. At my house, I had empty water bottles, and that's what I'm going to use as my pins. At your house, you can use whatever you have. Maybe you have some water bottles. Maybe you can make little Lego towers that can be like your bowling pins. Maybe you have um, army guys or um, little people or LOLs that can stand up sort of in this triangle shape and that those can be your bowling pins. So anything really you have that can stand up um, can be used as a bowling pin. Even markers can stand up and um, those can be bowling pins too. So the first thing you'll need are 10 bowling pins. And the second thing you'll need is your 10 frame. Now I forgot in my rush when we were taking things out of the classroom, I was packing up bags for you and I forgot to grab a 10 frame for me, so I made one. Um, but friends, you know how to make 10 frames too. So I just drew a rectangle here and I did one, two, three, four lines across, or four lines up and down and one across, just like tally marks. And it made me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten frames that I can use. Okay, so to set up for bowling, I have my ten pins now, I have my ten frame, and the next thing I'm going to do is to use my dry erase marker. Now you can use dry erase marker or if you have pennies or something else that you wanted to use to fill in the ten frames, that's okay too, but your job is going to be to fill all ten of the frames. And I'm going to just use um, dots like how we would normally see them in our classroom when we look at our 10 frames and we're counting. Um, they have dots in them. And so I'm using my dry erase marker and I have made a dot in each one of the frames on my 10 frame. And the reason I did that, I have 10 dots because I have 10 pins standing up. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a ball. Now I have a ball like this. These are the ones we had in our sensory table. You could use a bouncy ball. You could use a marble. If you have a tennis ball at your house, maybe you have a puppy who uses tennis balls. You could use something like that. Maybe you have another kind of a ball. Um, check with mom and dad about the kind of ball to use. So if you were gonna use a baseball or something like that, make sure with mom and dad that it's okay and that your bowling game is set up in a spot in the house where it's okay for you to be rolling a ball, okay? So I have Ava with me and Ava is going to be our bowler and she is going to roll the bowling ball toward the bowling pins and see how many she can knock down and I'll show you what we'll do after that. So I'm going to give the ball to Ava, and she is going to, awesome job, knock some down. So let's see, our next job is to see how many Ava knocked down. And she knocked down one, two, and the rest of them are standing. So the next thing we're going to do, I had ten, and Ava knocked down two. So I am using my eraser and I erased one, two of the pins because that's what she knocked down. How many are left? Let me give you a minute. Okay, if you were thinking eight, you were right. Maybe you counted. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe you were able to look at it and to see the whole top row is filled up and I know that's five and so I can count on from there. Five, six, seven, eight. Whichever way you did it is okay. We had 10, we knocked down two and there were eight left. So now we're gonna give Ava one more try and because we're setting the pins up again, Setting them up kind of in that triangle shape. Okay. Hold on one second, Eva. Because we set all 10 pins up again, I want all 10 dots back in my 10 frame. Okay, and remember you can use dots or if you're using pennies or beans or anything else to fill up the, the frames, that's okay. But we have 10 standing up, so 10 dots. Okay, here goes Eva. One, two. Okay, so we knocked down two again. Okay, I'm gonna give Ava one more chance so we can see what would happen if she knocked down more than two. So Ava, go get the ball. Since we already did one where we knocked down two pins, we're gonna give Ava a chance to knock down a few more. Okay, but in your game, you would have one turn to knock them down. Okay, all right. Go ahead, Ava, we'll see if we can knock down some more. There we go. Okay, now let's see how many we knock down. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have to erase four because that's how many pins fell down. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we had 10. And I erased one, two, three, four. And that's because four pins were knocked down. Okay, go ahead and do some counting, maybe counting on or counting one by one. We had 10, we knocked down four. How many are left? Good, if you were thinking six, you were right. Okay, so you can do subtraction bowling at your house. Like I said, I used water bottles and I have a ball, but you can use markers, even crayons. If you have a, a tiny, like a marble or a bouncy ball, then you might want to use smaller kinds of pins. Things like markers or crayons can stand up, army guys can stand up, so anything like that. And then you are going to use your 10 frame so that you can mark 10 standing up and then erase the ones you knocked down and count how many are left, okay? This is a fun kind of a game to play with a brother or sister at your house or if a grown up is at your house and wants to play and see who can knock down the most pins, okay? So good luck friends, I hope you have lots of fun with subtraction bowling.